Okay, a gold rod is in contact with a silver rod. The gold end and the silver end of the compound rod is at 90 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius respectively. The silver rod has uh, thermal conductivity uh, 427, length, uh, cross-sectional area. So if 341.3 uh, joule of heat flows through the gold rod in 10 seconds, calculate the temperature at the contact surface. Okay, so we have a gold rod contact with a silver rod. So I'm going to draw it out. We have a gold rod. Okay, this is the gold rod in contact with um, a silver rod. Okay, uh, in contact with a silver rod. Ah, okay, so uh, this is the gold. This is the silver. Okay, uh, so um, the gold end and silver end. Okay, so uh, we, we need to draw it out. Yeah, so um, this one is a 90 degree Celsius, uh, the gold end, silver end. Okay, so we can say this is a 90 degree Celsius and this is a 30 degree Celsius. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay, so sil uh, silver has thermal conductivity. Okay, so write it down, that one. So the, uh, okay, just put this as, uh, uh, can say this is number one, this is number two. Lah, yeah, uh, this is number one, number two. So this thermal conductivity of silver is number two, uh, is uh, 427. Okay, uh, and then it has length, okay, the length of it. Okay, the length of 2 is uh, 2.5 cm. So we need to change this uh, to SI unit. Yeah, this centimeter need to change to SI unit. So it becomes um, uh, 0. Point, uh, uh, and I just put as 2.5 exponent negative 2 meter. Uh, okay, and then cross sectional area. Uh, so I think both share the same cross sectional area. Lah, yeah. Both have the same cross-sectional area, which is uh, 7.85 uh, exponent negative 5 uh, meter square. Okay, uh, now he said this amount of heat flows through the gold rod. Okay, so uh, the heat flow, okay, for the gold rod, the heat flow is, um, the heat flow is uh, 3, 4, 1.3 joule yeah that's the heat flow for rod one and then the time taken the time taken yeah for rod one for the uh, heat to flow through is uh, 10 seconds okay so we want to find the temperature at the contact surface so uh, at the middle here uh, so we want to find the temperature at the middle uh, which is uh, this one we want to find this t at the middle okay all right so we have everything set uh, we have everything set um, okay we have everything set so right now uh, we need to find out um, okay one thing for sure is um, uh, this one should be insulated lah. okay these two rods should be insulated I didn't say about insulation, so it should be insulated. Yeah, insulated. That means uh, it's covered by insulator. So uh, it must be insulated, and it can achieve can achieve a steady state. Uh, when achieve steady state, that means uh, the heat flow become the same. Uh, that means the uh, this is what the thing happen okay when achieve steady state um, okay the rate of heat flow dq over dt at uh, the the goal number one will be the same as the rate of heat flow uh, in the silver rod uh, the rate of heat flow in the gold rod will be equal to the rate of heat flow in the silver rod uh, because it's insulated the heat cannot go to anywhere else. Yeah? You have to go through the gold rod and also go through the silver rod. 
So the rate of heat flow is the same for both sides. Okay? Uh, he, didn't, he never says about insulation, so assume to be uh, insulated. Okay? Assume. We assume. So that's why uh, the rate of heat flow for both rods is the same. Okay, so uh, we want to find this temperature at the joint. Okay, later in the calculation, we can find it out. But first of all, uh, we can actually find the rate of heat flow in the gold rod. Ah, because it, go, it already gives us the heat and also the time taken. So we can find dQ dt for gold rod first. Okay, let's find it out. Uh, so dQ over dt for, uh, for the gold rod is just take the 3 uh, on 3 over joule over 10 second we travel use this time to travel so we will get uh, 34.13 uh, watt uh, watt okay rate of heat flow okay so uh, and then uh, okay we can write it down here 34.13 uh, equal to uh, this one already in SI unit, no problem. So now uh, we uh, this rate of heat flow is equal to uh, negative ka uh, dt dx, isn't it? Uh, DT, negative ka dt dx. Uh, that's for rod two, uh, rod two. So um, Okay, so we can uh, write down what is the thermal conductivity for rod 2, uh, which is the silver rod. So it is a 427 thermal conductivity, cross-sectional area given uh, 7.85, uh, exponent negative 5. And then the dt, uh, this one is uh, using the final minus initial temperature, uh, uh, this one is uh, the T final minus T initial, uh, remember? Uh? Uh, so which one is, is uh, final, which one is initial? Uh, you must see. Uh, you must draw. Uh? So uh, we know that, um, um, look at here, for gold rod, for gold rod, this 90 is the initial. Okay, this 90 is the initial. And the T is the final. Uh, the big, the temperature at the joint is the final. But for silver rod, silver rod, the temperature at the joint become initial, become initial, ah, uh, yeah, and the thirty degrees Celsius become the final. Why, like, why we put like that? Because the the heat always flow from hot to cold. Ah, uh, okay. So is the heat always flow from hot to cold? Uh, the, this is the heat flow, heat flow. Okay, so the the hot is the initial, the cold is the final. Understand? Uh, heat always flow from hot to cold. So the ninety degree is hot, thirty degree is uh, cold. So the heat must flow from ninety uh, to ninety to thirty. Ah, uh, understand? Uh, so, so we can say, uh, uh, we can say if uh, for gold, if for gold, let if we want to find the ch change if, uh, change of temperature, we always take final minus initial. So let's say for gold, uh, so so for gold, it should be uh, using T final minus initial, uh, like that, isn't it? Uh, but for silver, it is using thirty minus T, not T minus thirty. Understand? Using final minus initial, uh, it should be using uh, thirty minus t. Uh, whereas for for rod one, it is t minus ninety. Uh, like that, okay. Always final minus initial. Final minus initial. Final for gold is final t minus initial ninety. For silver is final thirty minus initial t. Okay, good. So now this is about the silver rod, right? This is about the silver rod. So the final, the delta T here is T uh, final minus initial. So final is thirty minus T. Uh, you should write here thirty 
minus t, not t minus 30. Okay, not, not t minus 30, it's 30 minus t. Uh, okay, final minus initial, final minus initial. Okay, so and then what is the length of the silver rod? Uh, this dx, dx is the length. Lah. So it's a 2.5 exponent uh, negative 2. Ah, so finally we can find the temperature at the joint. Very simple. Yeah, uh, contact surface means the joint. Lah. Understand? Okay, so let's, cal let's calculate. Okay, uh, so I calculated. Okay, uh, cross multiply and I get final temperature uh, at the joint at the contact surface is 55.56 degrees Celsius uh, degrees Celsius so is it correct yeah is the answer correct yes is answer is correct okay that's the temperature at the joint very simple okay bye uh, so remember about changing this into meter huh? Changing this into meter, yeah? centimeter change to meter. Uh, okay, so be careful for that. This one must be in meter. Okay, bye.